Welcome to 200 days of Minecraft Hardcore in a world of dragons. I've done 100 days and you guys, you really wanted to make me 200 days, so here it is. 100 days was a challenge for sure, but this time I added some new mobs and bosses to make it more difficult for myself. I also have set myself some goals. These are the following. I want to get my dragon forge. I want to have one of each dragon breed. And I want to defeat all new bosses in this world. It was very tough. I had some close calls and also some things happened to me where the game was glitching. Like on day 114. That thing that happened to me that day was a bug for sure. Trust me, okay? Cool. Just a quick shout out to Fort Labs and Luke the Notable for inspiring me to make this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and also, if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss future 100 days videos like these. Now, let's get straight into the video. Day 101. Okay, I was back in the dragon world. Okay, we are back. It felt good to be back. Oh, hello, Drogo. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. First thing I need to do. I also gave Drogo the right name tag this time. Hey, Drogo. How are we feeling? Have been gone for a while, huh? It's good to be back, as I said. After that, I want to get more stuff for the Dragonforge. In the last video, some people said that I can go into those black buildings and there is an almost complete Dragonforge. So I went to one and remembered that I needed a key. In order to get that key, I need to kill a Dreadlich, which spawns in a snowy tundra like this. So I was trying to find a Dreadlich during the night. Alright, where are those liches? Still looking for a Dreadlich on day 102. Oh, oh! Suddenly, a mob from the dungeon spawned outside of it. Okay, that's a good start. So I thought I might just wait here and maybe a Dreadlich would spawn outside next to it. Some mobs spawned again here and there, but there was never a Dreadlich. On day 103, I was still trying to figure out how to find a Dreadlich. Hmm. I don't know if I should keep on doing this. Later, I decided to go back home and do something else the next day. Day 104 started with some farming by my house. Later, I made my way to a dragon cavern. So, I took on the beast. I said, let's go. Come on. Later, I finally killed her. Oh man, that was easy. Come on, please an egg, please an egg. <gasps> Dragon egg. Blue. I got a blue one. But sadly, I only got a blue egg. So, I had to keep looking for more dragon caves with female ice dragons. The next day, I came across another stage 5 dragon. This time, it was a bit harder. At one time, I was so low, I almost got pushed into the lava by her. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Barely killed her and survived. Okay, my boots, they're almost gone. 
This time, the dragon dropped a white deck. Let's go. I think that's a white egg. Yes, let's go. I then looted the cavern. And look what happened. Oh, I almost went in there and I don't have any water. Yeah, that was Noob Thrill right there who almost fell into the lava again. When I got home, I also removed the dragon head on my house. Because I realized it wasn't very nice from my side that I put Drogov's mom's skull on my house. So Drogov can see it all the time. <laughs> And also many of you guys said it in the comments in the 100 days video, so yeah, I removed it. I hatched the egg the next day. While the egg was hatching, I repaired my boots, because they were about to break. 35 level, just repair some boots. Sounds insane to me. It took him a while, but then he finally hatched. Oh, hey. I called him Sparky. Look at that guy. Because he's bright and his eyes spark, right? <laughs> Sounds lame, I know, but that's what I settled with. Okay, cool. Look at this guy. And this is my friend, um, Jim. Please don't eat him. He's a cool guy, okay? On day 107, I wanted to give Sparky a name tag, but I couldn't, wow, because I just used level. all my levels to repair my boots. So I stood at the XP farm for the next two days and nights. Someone in the comments told me to trade with a butcher to get the meat. Which is so smart, I didn't think of that. So thank you so much to this person for recommending me that. I went to the next village on day 109, got myself a butcher and a fletcher and started trading. I continued trading the next day. Oh, you're another good one. Okay, good. After that, I went back home, took Sparky outside, and fed him. You're about to grow 27 days, my dude. Look, now he's stage 2, 29 days. Look at this boy. Look at him. Nice. He grew a lot. But he wasn't as big as Drogov yet. He looked pretty small next to him. I really wanted to get that Dragonforge done. You know what? I really, really, I really want to go into Mausoleum. So, take some more food with us. So, on day 111, I went out to the Snowy Tundra again. And during the night, I walked around in hopes of finding a Dreadlich. But I wasn't lucky enough. It felt like I was wasting my time. I waited for night the whole day. When it got night, I was able to spawn some mobs from the mausoleum, but no dreadlich. After some time, I decided to fly around and look for a red lich like that. I was extremely unlucky until... Yeah. At the end of the uh, day, I found one. No way. Uh... Didn't drop its key. Gotta be kidding me, come on. I killed her, but she didn't drop a key. I was devastated. Ah, uh, she didn't drop a key. Oh, so annoying. I again waited during the day and flew around during the night. At one point, I decided to put up the spawn rate of Dreadliches. It's not cheating, okay? Or is it? I don't know. I also don't care. So don't go in the comments and say, Ooh, Thrill was cheating with the Dreadliches, blah, 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 blah. I did this for you. Because I don't think you only want to see 100 days of me flying around and trying to find a Dreadlich, right? So, we just speed up the process, okay? Cool. At the end of the night, I found two Dreadliches, but both didn't drop a key. Oh, get, go away. Shit. Again, didn't drop it. 
Are you serious? Like, what are the chances, dude? Oh. I made my way home on day 114. I wanted to repair my armor and also feed Sparky because I got a ton of bones from killing the skeletons which spawned with the red liches. After the repairment and the feeding, I made my way back to the snowy biomes. I no found what? some red liches and took them out. Now you drop me the dumb key, please. She dropped it! Finally, I got a key. And then, this happened. Getting low, I don't like that. You know what? I'm going to sleep. Going straight to sleep. What? I died, okay? But that that, that doesn't count. There's no possible way that I got killed that way. In two hits? No way. Before, it never dealt so much damage. So that had to be a bug or a glitch in the game, okay? This had to be bugged. She just hit me. Um, I went to sleep and woke up and she was gone. Um, does that sound good? Yeah, cool. So, I got my stuff back from the obvious glitch and slept. And then on day 115, I went oh, 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 oh. into the mausoleum and started the raid. Okay. Luckily, one of the knights dropped this sword, which did an insane amount of damage. Wait, they dropped their sword? 17 attack damage? Okay, I need lava and more blocks. So we just go home to get that stuff. So I made my way home to get that stuff. I spent the next three days and nights in the mausoleum, clearing out as much as possible. Then on day 119, I finally finished the mausoleum. And there it was, the Dragonforge. Or at least some parts of it. Okay. I think, I think I cleared it. Let's take this stuff. It's actually what I came for, so. I made my way back home with the loot and checked if I had enough stuff to make the Dragonforge. Okay, okay, okay. How, how much do I need and how much do I have? The next day, I started making all the items for the Dragonforge. Luckily, I had enough items to make the Dragonforge and had only two dragon scale blocks to spare. That meant I don't have to go out again and kill more dragons. Nice. 17 breaks, I got 19, let's go. Okay, we have enough. After that, I made my way to a location where I can make my dragon steel. But I just couldn't get it to work. They're all for spitting flames, but nothing happened in the Dragonforge. Are you doing it? Okay. Um. Watch, watch the tutorial. Uh, I hope it works. Why does it not work? Then on day 121, it started working. It's working! Alright, Drogo, do your thing. The rest of this day and the whole next day, I was just watching the Dragon Steel making process. And now I have my OP Dragon Steel armor. For the next five straight days, I was sitting at the XP farm, getting to level 36, going back home and enchanting stuff, until I had some decent enchantments on my gear and tools. On day 127, I went to that mending book that I still had on my map. I wasn't sure if I collected it or not. Did I take it with me? When I got there, I realized that I already took it with me in the last video. Oh well. I did take it with me. 
After that, I went back home and put Protection 4 on my chest plate. A full pro 4 armor, that's pretty good. For the next two days, I went into a dungeon to get more bones for my dragon. On day 130, I made my way back home from the dungeon. When I got home, I put some books on my gear and tools. I also finally made a dragon bow. Alright, let's make a... Yeah, dragon bow and bow. I couldn't enchant it yet, but I crafted it for now. I also made my way to the village to get some more food. There's a creature called Frostmaw that is living in the snowy biome. I want to find it and hunt it down. On my way to a snowy biome, I came across some dragons. Come on. Bro, got nothing on me. I made some glass bottles so I could collect the dragon blood for future dragon steel. A dragon attacked me in the morning of day 132. I took him down. I also found a sea serpent and took it down. I realized that it was my first fight with a sea serpent ever. It was because I hadn't found an ocean in the 100 days. Which sounds crazy, right? Yeah. I then flew around and killed some more dragons that I came across. Then, finally, on day 133, I found Frostma. Oh! He was sleeping right in front of me. There it is, the beast. Frostma. I then started the fight. Okay, let's attack him. Sword, the sword is OP. Ice crystal. I didn't think I would come so quickly with my sword, but these dragon steel tools and the armor are OP. After I defeated Frostmo, the ruler of the snowy biomes, I made my way home. With my 36 levels, I tried getting infinity on my dragon bone bow, but I couldn't get it. Power four, power four is cool, but not what I want. I want infinity. Come on, last try. Oh wow. What a disappointment. The next day, I wanted to slay a lightning dragon. And from the first 100 days, I knew exactly where to find one. So, I made my way over there. When I got there, I looked at him. And then, I started shooting with my bow. Hit him. <laughs> Look, I'm bullying him. It didn't take long to take him down. Are he dead already? Bro. Oh! In the morning of day 135, I sorted my items a bit. And then, I realized that I still had my unfinished basement. So I started working on that. First, I had to figure out the dimensions of the basements. After that, I dug out a bunch of dirt and stone. I was still digging out the basement the next day. 
After a while, I decided that I wanted to change my house a bit as well. Okay, um, I wanna, I wanna change my whole house and stuff. I wanna go with a darker look on the house. So, on day 137, I went out chopping down dark oak wood trees. This took the whole day. I was still cutting down trees on day 138. After that, I made my way home and started placing all the wood in the basement floor and the ceiling. After the basement, I started chopping out all the floor and the ceiling in the main room. After the chopping, I started placing the dark oak wood. I also placed some lanterns to make it look nicer. On day 140, I was still converting the house. I changed the fences, the pillars and started working on the roof. I was still working on the roof on day 141. I finished the roof the next day. After that, I wanted to see how my house looks stone bricks compared to cobblestone and after trying it out i really liked it yeah that looks way better so i dug out all the cobble and replaced it with stone bricks for the next two days on day 144 i realized that i did something wrong in the basement i got my dimensions wrong i still don't know how i did that but yeah, so I had to dig down a wall and move the basement out by one block. In the morning of day 145, I went down into the mines and started mining for cobblestone. I needed it for more stone bricks. After that, I went back up and put the stone in my furnace to smelt. I then placed the last few stone bricks. And like that, my basement was done. All right, I have my basement. But I don't really know what I should do with it, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I could need it for like storage, I guess. I decided to make a storage room out of it. So I started moving my chests and items down there. At the end of the day, I started a little lava trash room so I can dump stuff that I don't need. I was still sorting my stuff the next day. Good. On day 148, I wanted to go out and get myself a fire dragon. In order to get one, I needed to find a dragon cave with a fire dragon. So I made my way to a plains biome. I came across two more dragons and killed them. I also realized that I didn't have an arrow, which was kind of dumb. Okay, I have a problem. <laughs> because I don't have an arrow. So I killed a chicken, looked for gravel, but I couldn't find any. I finally found an arrow the next day. I got it for a skeleton spawner in the dungeon. I got my arrow, let's go. After that, I made my way down to the dragon cave. After I arrived, I made sure that it's a female so it could drop an egg. Then I opened fire. Shooter! And she not only dropped one egg, but two. Nice. After I slayed her, I realized that there was this cool black block, which might look cool with the dark oak wood from my house. So, I took some with me. That looks so cool. I wanna get, I wanna get a lot of that. I made my way home the next day. After arriving, I sorted my stuff. Then, I tried enchanting my dragon bone bow again. And this time, I finally got infinity. Nice. Infinity! We got it. Perfect. I started the hatching process of the fire dragon on day 151. Okay. So it's hatching. 
I just watched the egg and looked for a cool name for the dragon. Oh wait. Oh, uh. uh, hey, hey! It's a female! Blaze, Blaze. Hey, hey, hey. Once she hatched, I called her Blaze. Let's go! We got Blaze. Hey, Blaze, how are you? You look cool. Look, these are your br uh, these are your brothers. That's that's Drogov and that's Sparky. You're Blaze, because you're a fire dragon, okay? Now let's grow you, okay? Wow! Look at you. In the morning of day 152, I went out to the village to get more food for myself and for Blaze. After that, I grew her to stage 3 so I could fly her. Oh look, now I can ride her. I flew around and made some more of that black stone. When I was back home, I tried switching out the stone bricks for the black stone. And it looked amazing. Sheesh! Oh man, that looks amazing. So I started converting the whole house again, but this time to the Blackstone. Yeah, pretty dumb, I converted it two times. Waste of time, but whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so good. That looks so good! On day 154, I flew out with Blaze to get more of the Blackstone. It took a while to get some, but I got a ton. So the last thing to switch out was the lava room in the basement. I also changed some wood from the outside. The next day, I went out to kill some squids for black stained glass, but I was just not able to find any. After I found a pillager castle, I looted it and stayed there for the night. On day 156, I found an ocean after some time, but there were only some sea serpents which wanted to kill me. After a while of boating down the river, I finally found some squids. Oh, look at the fruit squids, hey. Hey. Oh, man. I really wish I would have had the good suit that I had in my 100 Days Ocean. Because that thing was insane. You haven't watched that? Click. Make sure to click here to watch it. While boating, a minx stole my diamonds. Dude, she stole my diamonds? Bro. Hate those guys. Look at their Wall of diamonds. I flew home, but stayed the night at a nearby village. I made my way home the next day. After arriving, I started making the black stained glass and switched it out with the normal glass. And I have to say, I love it. It just makes the house look so much cooler. I want to kill some more lightning dragons so I would know their attack. And that's what I did for day 158. Wait, he's dead already? Oh man, this dragon bow is insane. I killed some more dragons on day 159. After that I made my way down to see if I could spot a dragon cave with a lightning dragon. And I was lucky. There was one right in front of me. Wait, there is a dragon cavern. Like right ahead. Did I check it out? Yeah, like why not, right? I dug my way over there. Suddenly, the beast woke up and started attacking me. So I had to fight it. Oh. He got very angry. I think that's a 
stage five one. It got very angry and did some good damage considering my OP armor. I killed the beast, but didn't get an egg unfortunately. It was a stage five, uh, but probably a male. It was a male. I continued right. looking. I was still mining the next day. After some time, I finally saw another dragon cave on the map. I dug up and it was about to get dark. Fortunately, I found a village, dropped off some stuff and stayed there for the night. Then on day 161, I dug down to the dragon and took the fight against the beast. Hello, can you please not fly like that? That was it. And look what I got. An amethyst dragon amethyst egg. egg. That color looks Let's so cool. Go. Nice. After the first one, I headed over to the one right next to it. Luckily, there was another female stage 5 dragon. I killed that one as well. Oh, that's stage 5 as well. That's stage 5 again. Bro, look at this. That's so huge. Whoa. Good. But it's a blue one. Let's go. Electric blue, maybe? I also got an electric blue dragon egg from this one. So, exactly those two colors which I wanted. Nice. That's cool. The next day, I dug myself up and made my way home. I stashed all the loot I got and went back to the chest with more loot inside to bring it back home as well. After that, I wanted to hatch the eggs, but in order to get a lightning dragon egg to hatch, it needed to rain. I didn't sleep the few nights before, so it was more likely to rain. Now all I had to do was wait for it to rain. I was still waiting on day 163. I was actually eating dinner that time, so I thought it would be good to just wait for the rain during that time, because I just couldn't... It just made sense. <laughs> the next day I went to the village to get mending. So, I got another village in my little house. But now it was a bit too small, so I dug out a little hole on the ground for them to fit in. And then I just reset the villager until they gave me mending. It was actually pretty quick and also pretty cheap, which was awesome. <gasps> we got it! In the morning of day 165, I was just at the village doing some stuff. After that, I made my way home and made a small sugar cane farm. And while I think about that, that was pretty dumb that it took me 165 days to make a sugarcane farm. Well, after night had set, I went to the XP farm because I still had to wait for rain. And after a while at the XP farm, I heard that it started it's raining. Running, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. I rushed home with Sparky and placed the eggs in the rain. I was waiting and waiting for the eggs to hatch on day 166, and then, finally, they both hatched at the same time. Oh! Oh! Look, they're both here! Can I take two on my shoulders? I can have two on my shoulders! Let's go! Let's go! Look at these guys! I took them inside and gave them their names. Zirion and Xera. Alright. Zirion and Xera. I okay. fed the new dragons the next day. Oh what, you still fit on my shoulder? Oh wow. I knew I had to get more bones for more dragon meals because I wanted to be able to ride both of them. I made my way to the closest dungeon and started raiding it. I was in the dungeon for the next two days. On day 170, I was done with the dungeon and wanted to make my way home. Wait, what is this? I then came across this weird village, and then it happened. A boss bar appeared on the top of my screen. Barco the Sun Chief. I mean, I'm like OP armor. Is it this guy? So, I took the fight. Hey, 
Hey, stop healing him. Bro. I got this cool mask from it. Never breaks. Equip, then right click with the Barakoa mask to spawn followers. Right click, return it to mask. What? I had to test it out later. After that, I made my way home. I sorted out all the loot that I got from the dungeon the next day. After the loot sorting out, I made my way to the village, get more food for the dragon meals. On day 172, I was still waiting for the butcher to restock. This took a while. After finally restocked, I bought all the meals that I could and went home and fed the dragons. I needed even more bones on day 173, so I again went out to find a new dungeon and looted it. At the end of day 174, I wanted to go and loot the dragon cave nearby. I went to it, but there wasn't a dragon in sight. Where did it go? Then, I saw a huge hole in the ceiling. It must have been escaped. In the morning of the next day, I found the beast and killed it. This looks like a big boy. I think. Oh yeah, this is definitely a bigger one. I went into another cave and also killed this one. I really want to get a green egg, but I didn't get one. I made my way home on day 176 and again sorted out all the loot that I got. Then I fed the two dragons. I just had enough to grow them to stage 3, so I could ride them. And I can ride him as well. I still had some spare bones, so I made my way to the village to get some more food. But the butcher wasn't restocked for some reason, so I had to wait again. Hey, Mr. Butcher. You don't want to trade? Bruh, come on. Come on, man. The next day, he finally wanted to trade with me again. So, I bought some food and made the dragon meals. I fed them to Sirion. Now, he's already pretty big. The next day, I wanted to go and find and fight a big knight. I heard that he lives underground, so I flew to a plains by him and started looking for him. At the end of the day, I saw his room appear on the map. I think I found it. On day 179, I went down and started the fight. I dodged his attacks pretty well. What? It was one hit? I didn't know he would be one hit killed, but yeah, that was very didn't surprising. Think it was one hit. Never breaks. Never breaks. Right click to attack and oh. Got a cool axe. Got a cool helmet. <laughs> Okay, I didn't think that he would die this quickly. Okay, that's cool. I have to test it out on you. I'm sorry, cow. something pretty good. Cool. But 
it doesn't do a lot of damage. After that, I saw another dragon cave on the map, so I went there and defeated the dragon as well. I got a red dragon egg this time, that's cool. I went back home on day 180 and started hatching the new egg. It didn't hatch until the night, so I took a sleep. She finally hatched the next day. <gasps> He's here! Oh look at him, he looks cool. He looks so cool. The red, I like the red one. Okay good, you're staying. No. Wait, are you? I think you're a male. A female. I'm gonna call you Fyra then. Fyra. Yeah. Alright, Fyra. She looked pretty cool with that red, I have to say. After that, I decided that I wanted to raid a woodland mansion, because I really wanted to have some totems to prevent me from dying. And I didn't have any yet. I started preparing some stuff for it. I went to the village and started breeding the villagers, because I needed a new villager. And then, at the end of the day, they finally made a baby. Wait, wait, I think, I think we have a baby. Hey, baby man, grow up, please. We have to wait until he grows up. I waited two whole days for the baby to grow. The next day, I leveled up the villager, and then I was able to buy the Woodland Explorer map from him. Woodland Explorer, let's go. I bought it and went home. I sorted my stuff to make myself ready for the fight, and then North. headed out. At the end of the day, I found it. I didn't think I would find it so quickly, but with those dragons, you can get around pretty quickly. I looted the mansion for the whole day, 186. I got four totems of undying in total, which was pretty good. On day 187, I wanted to find a desert whilst I was out adventuring. I came across a building which was kind of new to me. I quickly remembered that it was the Gorgon Temple. I went in to go and kill her. She came right at me, but didn't stand a chance. That was it. I found a mesa biome before I found a desert. That's kind of ridiculous. But then I finally found one. Where Bryce? Desert? Desert? We found a desert. On day 187. It took me 187 days to find a desert. I also came across my first death worms. I had some serious lags on day 188. Are we still having lags? Even after restarting, they were still there. Okay, I'm having... There is something insane going on. I lowered my render distance and walked into the direction I came from, because I should have no lags there. I was right. Good. Later, I decided to go home. I got there by the end of the day. Hey guys, I'm back. Got a totem in my hand. I went to the village the next day. I needed some more emeralds for food to grow my dragon. After I got them, I fed them to my dragon and went back home. The next day, I tried the Mask of the Sun Chief out and spawned in 10 followers. Can I make more? Ah. Ah, look at that! 
That's so cool. I had a ton of fun with them for the whole day. Come on with me, follow me, my fellow boys. Dude, that's so cool, look at that. Where's a mob? I wanna hit a mob. Okay, you cow, I'm sorry cow, but... I have to test something out for science. They're healing me? What? Yeah, what if I hurt myself? They're healing me? That's Guys, I'm so cheap. Dude, I wanna fight something. I wanted to try them out while I was under attack. So I waited until sunset and mobs spawned. They are protecting me, but not how I thought they would. They were still fun though. Guys! They bring some company in the world, I would say. Because they're talking... I don't know. Uh, they're cool. I like them. I still wanted to get more bones, so I went out to get more Four, from another days. dungeon. I know, boring. But it's the best way to get many, many bones. That's what I did. I was in there for two more days. I went back home the next day. I made some dragon meals, went to the village to get more meat and made even more dragon meals. I then fed fire at the meals. Look what happened on my way home. This followed me all the way home. That's insane. Hey. Those little thieves. How did you get here? You follow me all the way here. I flew east in hopes of finding a dragon cave. After I dug down, I saw one, but unfortunately it was a male dragon, so I had to keep looking. I was still looking on day 196. I really wanted to get that green dragon egg. Like, okay, first I have to like find a dragon cave, right? Then it has to be a female. And even then, I still have the chance of not getting a green egg. Oh, I haven't fought a single one yet. Oh. At the end of the day, I finally found a cave with a female dragon. So I took the fight and took her down. She dropped the red egg though. Got another red egg. So I had to continue looking. This took for two whole days. Black egg, right? Another grey egg. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't want a grey egg. Another grey dragon egg. Oh, come on. I got four grey dragon eggs. Urgh. I was still looking the whole day. And then, during the night of day 199, I finally found another female and she dropped a green egg. I was so excited. We got it. Oh, that one dropped two eggs as well. Emerald, let's go. Yes, let's go, let's go. We got it on day 199, the night to day 200. Well, let's go, man. Okay, now we go home, hatch it, and that's it. I rushed home and started the hatching process during the night. I couldn't wait. I also got attacked by phantoms while setting up the hatching process. Finally, day 200. On that day, I waited for the new dragon to hatch. I thought of a name and came up with Arrow. I prepared the name tag and then, as I said it, the dragon hatched. Alright, Arrow, you wanna hatch? Whoa, as I say it. Wait, wait, wait. Are you? Oh, you're a male. Cool. Wait, you come with me. Alright, guys, we got another one. A green one. After that, I just had some fun with Arrow. And like that, my 200 days video is over. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future uploads. Thanks so much for watching. 
Peace.